Government of the United States Constitution, the validity of the, of the United States debt shall not be questioned. Conversely, how many young Americans today understand what the debt ceiling uh, as well as the budget process entails? The answer to that might be quite surprising. Not very many. According to Josh Kibble and his article, How Much Do Americans Know, uh, reviewed the actual two key terms that stick to me uh, when it comes to thinking about how much Americans actually know when it comes to the United States government. Those two key terms are civic knowledge as, as well as civic, uh, civil ignorance. Civil knowledge is the basic understanding of what's going on around you in your society, while civic ignorance is the inability or unwillingness for the individual to motivate himself to learn about his, in, about his surroundings. This civic knowledge coincides perfectly with the idea of how much the young American today understands about the government and the process that it entails when it comes to the budget process or understanding how the government works. So today, I'm going to take the opportunity to inform you, uh, to educate you more, uh, to educate you in regards to the budget process, distinguishing it between the continuing resolution that, and how it relates to the debt ceiling. Second, I'm going to inform you regarding the causes of the, sh the government shutdown. And thirdly, I'm going to explain to you to what degree the government is actually shut down. So with that said, first of all, it's going to lead me to my first point. The first point is the actual process of the government and what it entails when we speak about the budget process. The budget process begins on, on October the 1st and ends September the 30th of the following year. This is known as the fiscal fiscal year. Although the President of the United States, which is in the executive branch of government, is not, re is not required by law or is not verified by law for him to sign a bill, this should be more of a civic, civic duty to have a bill signed on October the 1st for the following fiscal year, for the continuing fiscal year. Although the, pres uh, the President, which is included in the executive branch or the executive branch is the office in which the president is is involved in and his uh, his process or his um, his duties might require for him to deal with other policies or processes or just uh, things that arise on a daily daily basis the president has many 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 facets to help him in his duty of finding a process or finishing up a, a fiscal process. And this office that is a sub a subcommittee of the executive branch to help the president in signing of a fiscal bill is called is known as the Office of Management Budget. This this Office of Management Budget was created in nineteen seventy four to help the president in mandating certain bills or in enacting certain bills for certain states of the government when, when dealing with coming up with the fiscal policy. A fiscal policy is the overall budget of the government nationally, while individual bills are individual, individual <coughs> bills asked by or are, are requested by individual states as appropriations to keep the government running or facets of the society that are needed by, in view of certain senators to keep the communities in which they live uh, functioning at that certain pace or a certain pace of society reason, reasonability. That's going to be the, the first, that's my first point. The first point is the budget process, the budget process which begins on October the 1st and September the 30th is the first process of this, of what we know, which is the, the budget process. Which brings me to the, my second point. My second point is, is the causes of the government shutdown, or to the degree of which the government is shut down. The degree to which the government is shut down is due in, in majority to the, something that we know as appropriations. Appropriations is, a bill, is the bill that signs into legislation the fiscal, the fiscal policy that's going to be 
held out throughout the whole year, and this is enacted by the President and has to be approved by both houses of Congress, the House of Representatives as well as the, the Senate. After this is passed, well, the President of the United States signs into office the, the bill uh, for, for, the whole, for the fiscal year. Coincidentally, the only, according to the Constitution as well, only the only Congress has the ability to sign into action or sign into a bill the appropriations that's going to fund the United States government. The United States government and its funding is is allocated in, into basically two separate uh, separate entities or legislations, uh, bills that are known as, as mandatory bills and bills that are known as discretionary bills. These two bills separate the government into into the idea of the government being shut down and the government being open. According to uh, Tom Curry, uh, national affairs writer for NBC, uh, concluded or came to the conclusion that about 350,000 furloughed workers, as well as military exercises and some appropriation bills to farmers have been have, effect, have been affected due to this government shutdown or the partial shutdown of the government. Uh, also other factors that have affect, uh, which leads me to my third point. My third point is to what, uh, or staying on my second point is to what degree is the government shut down. The degree to which the government is shut down is, is to the degree of the inability to, for the government to reach a continue or reach a continuing resolution, and the debts and the debt ceiling, uh, which brings into question the debt ceiling. The debt ceiling is currently at sixteen point nine trillion dollars. That's what the debt ceiling is. The continuing resolution is the idea of continuing funding all aspects of the government at a, at the certain rate, which would mean if we were to go to war or any other catastrophe, the government would consequently have to go into session immediately to raise, either raise that bar because the spending of the government would have to increase drastically or, or a new resolution would have to be met. In the prior two years, the president has failed to meet the obligation of, fund, of signing a fiscal policy on October the on October the 1st, as I explained earlier, not required by government, but should be a civic obligation of the President of the, as Commander-in-Chief of the United States. Which brings me into my third point. Who is really to blame, or who are really the causes of why the government is shut down? Well, if we, if we divide up Congress and how Congress currently stands, where it's a Senate, major, a Senate leading Democratic Party, while the lower house is a Republican, a Republican-led party, there is currently 231 uh, Republicans in in the House, with 200 uh, Democratic representatives. While in the upper office of the Senate, there is 53 Dem uh, Democratic representatives, while 45 Republican Dem the Republican uh, representatives. You ask yourself, how how? How does this relate to me, and how is this the cause of the government being shut down? Well, the government is in a in a situation where they're trying to pass Obamacare. Everybody knows what Obamacare is: is the an action of the health coverage for every individual in society, which is needed. Certain individuals within the uh, Republican Party disagree on certain bills of. Health, uh, the health care and what it includes, this causing a rift between between the Democratic and Republican Party, uh, not allowing them to meet a resolution on the cost of what Obamacare is going to entail, as well as certain entitlement programs and reforms which the Republican Party actually <coughs> as well want with, with, the, re uh, with the new fiscal uh, policy. Like I said, the fiscal policy hasn't been signed yet. That's going to be something that's going to be decided on January 17th, which will close the, the budget process deal. Until then, the continuing resolution, which is funds the existing government 
for a certain amount of time at, its, at the current rate that we have is going to be implemented until January 15th or a new budget process or a new budget policy has been met. So with that in mind, today I have explained to you the budget process, how, how it relates to how it relates with the continuing resolution as well as the debt ceiling. Second, I have explained to you the degree to which the government was shut down. And third, what are the major causes of the shutdown and how that and how they co correlate together. So thank you very much.